Hello everyone, my name is Nolan from New Game Plus. I'm going to be doing a first play today of the game Rampage. Did you hear that? That was me putting a credit in because this is an arcade title. Rampage got, like, not re-released, but, like, there are other games in the series. I know this because I have played the N64 one. It was a renter for me. I got it all the time at the video store. And I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I don't see the original, which is what we're going to play today, being any different. I think the concept's pretty straightforward. You pick from one of these big old, big old dudes here and kill people. <laughs> so... Um, pretty straightforward. I used to get this game mixed up with the the fighting game where monsters fight each other. We've actually played it on the podcast. I don't remember the name, but it might even have a similar title. I don't know. It's monsters fighting. Now, I'm going to be playing this game solo. I don't even know if it's multiplayer. It might not be. But we're going to be playing solo. I'm going to be playing Lizzie. And I'm going to give myself nine credits, which is the max amount of credits. Because being an arcade title, we could run into some problems here where progression is very difficult. If it's anything like other arcade games, like Shmups, for instance. We played Shmups on here on a first play, and I lost a lot. So I'm learning from my mistakes, and I'm going to give myself the max credits. Here we go. Woman finds the lake to be radioactive. Okay. Um, okay, we have a jump. And we have people throwing sticks at us. Sticks of dynamite. I can punch. Okay. And I think this person's innocent. Let's save them. Okay. Hey! Look at that. Wait. Nice! I straight up saved that person. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh! We're breathing fire. So, yeah, my experience with Rampage. You just break the buildings. <laughs> like, it's actually kind of cool to play as... Give me that. The monster. Because in so many video games, you're trying to kill the monster. Like, you're driving the helicopter or you're one of these a-holes throwing... Got zapped throwing dynamite at the monster but check this out i am the monster get wrecked i'll kill all of you right this is payback so i actually like that concept of this game and oh kill this i i hit reset okay we have a health bar it's called damage uh damage taken i presume uh there's that building and I'm, I feel like I'm doing okay. This helicopter's pretty annoying, but I can just punch it. Don't worry. And I'm struggling to see the purpose of breathing fire there. Like... Pfft. Oh, the dynamite blows up the building. But the enemy dropped it. That seems too convenient. Maybe I get fewer points uh, if it blows up on its own. Maybe I have to punch it to kill it or something. Wait, let's save let's save the the girl. She was on the front of the game. Oh no. Sorry. I pumped <laughs> Wait, I punched her out of the bit line. Okay, I think we still rescued her though. Are we going to get points for that? No. I don't know how I got points for that last guy. Just FYI. Oh, come on. Surely the building can't stand if it's got a giant hole in it. Wait, maybe that's the strat. Break it on both sides on the bottom. Like this. And then go over here and do the same. Yeah. That's it. Well, no. Never mind. I don't know. There's probably a strat out there to breaking these buildings correctly. I don't know them. But wait, this one's still standing too. Dude... I'm clearly not that good at this game. But I will say, this game looks great. Look at... Th so, <laughs> the backdrop is nothing impressive. Although it's there, and you can tell what it is. They clearly put their resources into the sprite work. And look at Lizzie here. Pretty solid. Like, the shading, the, the facial expressions. 
This is, um, this looks pretty good. The buildings are kind of ugly too, so they clearly just worked on the monsters, which I think is a smart move. I think that's a good move. You want your character to look good. Like those animations? Totally arcade, totally solid. Oh, there's a train now. Okay. I'm starting to feel the un... Yikes. Nudity. I'm starting to feel the unfairness setting in. Like, let's just take a moment and look at all the projectiles on the screen. How do you want me to dodge those and break buildings at the same time? Hmm? That's... That's not happening. Also, there are helicopters. And there are now bombs being dropped on me. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, do you want me to play the game? No, it's an arcade. So, they had to make money. And so, of course, they made it so that you have to put in more quarters to progress further. I hate this. I hate that about arcade cabinets. I know that's what they're designed to do. And I know there's, like, that. that's just the way it is. I understand that. So forgive me, hardcore arcade fans, but like, come on. Like, do you want me to play the game? Because I get so frustrated when the difficulty curve is not a curve, it's just a wall. And you hit it, and you take the damage, and you can't do anything about it. I'm whining, but like, I don't see this getting better as I progress, I'm on like the third stage. I'm also realizing that there is no soundtrack. I, I don't know why it took me so long to realize that either um, because I usually notice that immediately but I think it's because there are plenty of other sound effects going on literally just explosions though oh cool you can hit things midair that's good to know um, yeah like there is just noise and I would really appreciate like I don't know, a heavy metal soundtrack or something to help me out here? That would that would help me kill people easier and kill buildings easier. But I don't like silence in video games. I like to have something. And whatever this noise is. Now for Kalamazoo, let's see what Kalamazoo is like. For in terms of progression, I, yeah, like what new mechanic am, am I working with here? I have a Oh, maybe I do have one. I spoke too soon. That's a manhole cover. And someone looked... Someone was in there. Wait, Matthew Broderick? Get him! Wait, no, save her. <laughs> also, I can punch the manhole cover, so that's a new mechanic. I was about to whine about how there's nothing new between stages. But, but I'm still gonna whine, because there's not. I mean, I'm still... Like... They just put more buildings and arrange them differently and put even more projectiles on the screen for you to get hit by. I'm struggling. Listen, I know some of you are probably hardcore fans. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling to see the appeal outside of, hey, I got a high score and I'm better at this game than you. Which is, you know, that's a thing with arcade. Especially, like, going to the arcade. That's, that's the vibe, but like playing it now by myself I'm just like more frustrated than anything but we'll see okay I'm going to Detroit next uh, okay there's nothing pause I'm sorry I'm gonna keep playing we're gonna see what happens but let us know what you think about Rampage if you have experience playing this on an arcade cabinet or on one of the many ports that Midway put this game on uh, let us know. You can do that by joining our Discord server and leaving commentary in the commentary channel. Go to ngppodcast.com and click join us in Discord to do that. Uh, I've been whining, so I apologize, but I'm going to close the game. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to close the game. I'll play it later. I'm going to walk away. Take a breather. Play along with us. Nolan from NGP. First play. Goodbye.